Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Rakakadash, that belong to the Son to the Elder, Paul's is a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, this is the book of Joshua, chapter 14, titled Land West of the Jordan. Right? So that is then, therefore, here. Wait. Right. That is, that is then, therefore, here, this side. West, of course. Right? <clears throat> Just like how you have America. West side is, is LA and stuff like that. California. And the east side is New York. You know? It's easy to rem remember by, you know, the east and west coast uh, rap uh, scene. Right? So, first one. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for an inheritance to them. So the land was promised unto them and to no one else. No other nation was allowed to just basically come up in there and started to claim land and stuff like that. The only Israelite foreigners, the only uh, Israelites that were allowed to do that were the Israelite foreigners. Yeah. Okay, okay, you want to play around? Sorry. No, it says here, verse 2. By lot was their inheritance, as Yahweh commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half tribe. Right, which is this then here it fell like this let me see one two three four right wait let me right so let me let me read this again in order for me to explain it. I went and looked up a few things and put a few scriptures together in order for me to be able to understandably explain this. Joshua fourteen and two. By lot was their inheritance, as Yahweh commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half tribe. So what does that mean? because this is uh, the title of this video sorry the title of this chapter is actually land west of the jordan then you would see here that you had one asher naphtali two zebulon three Issachar four dun five ephraim six benjamin seven judah eight simeon nine and then half so nine and a half and then the other half here would make 10 and then Gad would make 11 and then Reuben would make 12 and we only got like this well not only but we got like this portion yeah actually only because we were we were supposed to get all this but we didn't because the Heavenly Father left them to test us and we failed the test because <laughs> we we started to worship their gods and theirs and theirs and theirs we started to worship their gods eventually and then we started to the the land started to shrink to where we only had like this region here and then this small region here and a little bit of here so it then this became the northern kingdom and this became them became the southern kingdom right because here for example so joshua 14 and 2 then I go to for for that for this scripture, I, for this verse I go to here. Joshua chapter thirteen verse seven. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half tribe of Manasseh, which I just showed you here. These are the nine and a half tribes. Then it says, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance. Sorry. Have received their inheritance which Moses gave them 
beyond the Jordan, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of Yahweh gave them, which is this is eastward. So this is East Manasseh, you could say. East Manasseh. And Gad was here. And Reuben was here. But Manasseh was supposed to get until Mount Her Hermon, as you can see here. But we, we didn't because we, yeah, we sinned, right? So it says here, first, no, first eight, nine. So what did they get from what were Reuben, Gad, and Man a half tribe of Manasseh? What were they supposed to get? What were they supposed to get? Well, from Arur, that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medaba unto Dibon. So Arur and Arnon, or Arnon, which is here, Dibon is here, and Medaba. spelled it like this way. No, I think I have another one. Okay, I can't find it here. It's, it, it, it's somewhere, but yeah. Let me just leave it. Mm, okay, Arur. Oh yeah, Mandaba is here. Mandaba, did I see it there too then? Which here is Arur? Oh yeah, okay, here. Into Mandaba, right? those two okay then going on um, uh, all, all the plain of uh, Medaba and Dibon which is okay, this one then. yeah yeah, yeah. Medaba all, all the plain here Medaba all the plain of the Dan which is all this here and of course Aroa right so going on back over here and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, which is Heshbon, here, just in Reuben, am I bad at maps or something, I don't know, because this is Heshbon of course, so above Reuben, here, oh, I was I was looking here, man. Damn, but I said like, no, this ain't him. <laughs> Hasbon is here. I was really looking here. It's like, hey, I don't see Hasbon. <laughs> and then I was looking here. I didn't see it, but it was above Reuben. This is Reuben, so it was here. Because here, it was above Reuben. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so going to back over here, and it says, and Gilead. And the border of the Gesherites and the Machites and all Mount Hermon and all Bashan unto Salka, which is here's Salka, but here is Salka. It's spelled different. But here is Mount Hermon. We were supposed to get all this. So the, so this is Mount Hermon, remember that. So that means here. But what do we have? So remember this part. All this here, right? Uh, unto done. So, but what do we have here now? Here you see done. This is, here above is Mount Hermon. But what happened? Well, we lost. We fought wars and stuff, and stuff with them. And uh, yeah, and you can find that here. Let me read this first. Now, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 32, verse 39. And the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilead, and he took it, which is Gilead is this. Ramath Gilead, and this is Gilead, the Sea of Gilead, of Galilee, sorry. But here is Gilead, Jabesh Gilead, Ramath Gilead. Nope. 
basically here is Gilead. But well, let me go on. But let me go on. And then he and took it, and disposed the Amorites which was in it. And Moses gave Gilead unto Machir the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Jair the son of Manasseh went and took the small towns thereof, and called them Havoth Jair, which you can see here. Havoth Jair. And of course, Argob and uh, Kanath. Now you're going on. Now it says, And Nobab went and he took Kanath, which is another son of Manasseh. So this one is the son of Manasseh, this one is one, this one is one. So they're all their they're family. And the villages thereof, and called it Nobab, Noba, after his own name. So Kanath is. Until Kanath we had, until Kanath here, we had until here, all this region, under Mount Hermon, we had that. But we we would have we should have expelled these two people, but we didn't. But later on we kept friendly relations with them, which Absalom, the one the one that murdered his half brother, he ran to here because his mother was from here as you can see that here no not this one yet this one so second samuel chapter 10 verse 6 and will the children of ammon no 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 no. yeah we fought against them by the way this is the fight way i'm not looking for that right now hmm. I, I, I put it somewhere here, sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah, here. Second Samuel chapter 3, verse 3. And his second, his second son, his second child, King David, uh, Hiliab of Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite and the third Absalom the son of Maha the daughter of Talmai king of Geshur and then this Absalom murdered one of the other sons of King David which is his half brother <laughs> and then he fled unto Geshur which is here he fled here because that's where his family is from his mother's side so he fled there when he had war with his father, which is King David. And, okay, so. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 1. Then we returned, then we turned, and went up the way to Bashan. And Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edri. Edri. Which is wait, right? Which is here? Oh no! What? 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 Yeah, I here, dry here, and this was the former territory of King Og. Deuteronomy three and two, and Yahweh said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him, because he was a giant, and all his people were also giants, and his land, into thy hand. And thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which was also a big dude, which dwelled at Heshbon. Because you, 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 you couldn't fight them. Nobody could fight them. Deuteronomy chapter 9 explains you that. Everybody was afraid of the Canaanites because they were too big. They were, they, they were scared of them. And these were all Canaanites. So Yahweh all power delivered into our hands Og also the king of Bashan and all his people and we smote him until none was left of the, to him remaining and we took all his cities at that time there was not a city which we took not from them three score cities all the region of Argob the kingdom of Og in Bashan now the three score cities is 60 cities so we took 60 cities from them right and then here, 
you see this Machir, the son of Manasseh. He, we, so we disposed of them, right? And then Deuteronomy, the same chapter, chapter 3, verse 12. And this land which we possessed at that time from Alua, which is down there, which is by the river of which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilead, and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites, which is here. Uh, Reuben and Gad, Gad and Reuben, which is Alua. Uh, Right. And the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, gave I unto the half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argob, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Right. <laughs> and their cities were big too, so. Of course, because you, you're not going to have a small town. I mean, if you go to Japan and you see the streets over there, you know, you can, they, they, they look funny because they're small. And the houses look funny because they're small, you know. But when these Japanese people come to Europe and stuff like that, all of a sudden they have space beyond their imagination because they're thinking to themselves like, what the hell? How, how are your houses so big? Because their houses are small. And they're used to it. So when you move to another place, all of a sudden everything is bigger. You, you It's like you're in giant land or something, you know? Which is the same that we had when we took over their land. So, going on. So it says here, uh, Deuteronomy 3 and 14, Jairi, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Agar onto the coasts of Geshuri and Mahati and called them after his own name. Bashan Havath Jair unto this day. Right. But what were we supposed to do? We were supposed to kick them out the land, but we didn't. Because it explains it to you right here. Um, Joshua chapter 13, verse 1. Now Joshua was old and stricken in age. Years, sorry. And Yahweh said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years. And there remained yet very much land to be possessed. And by the way, I'm reading Joshua 14 right now, by the way. Yeah, this is 13, but I'm, I'm, the, the video is Joshua 14, so I'm in the next chapter right now. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the border of the Philistines and all Geshuri, which is here. Here. And by the way, giants were here too, with Gath, for example. And this one we took over. King David was here when he fled from ex-king Saul then he we stayed then King David stayed here for a year and a few months you know right in the book of 1st Samuel 27 and also until 1st Samuel chapter 30 right so going on okay so this is the, this is that place because it says here Geshuri, which are the Geshurites, but they're different from these Geshurites, which is Geshur from Aram, and this is Maha from Aram also. So we didn't take over these places because it's going to explain. Because let me read it. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines and all Geshuri, from Sihor, which is before Egypt. And unto the borders of Ekron, northward. Where, where is Ekron then? Well, Ekron is... It's on another map. Here, Ekron here. Which is here, around here somewhere. Oh, sorry. Wait. Mm, let me see here. Uh, here. Here, but Ekron is here somewhere. Let's see here. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, here. No, this one. Okay, so this is talking about the ones that I just showed you, which is in uh, the Philistine, Philistia, these places, Ekron and stuff like that. 
okay so now jumping back uh, jumping down to over here verse 13 well I'll start at 12 all the kingdom of Ak which also remained well let, let me read it let me read it because you have certain places that we didn't take over but it was alloyed unto us as you can see here see until Mount Hermon Moses actually alloyed that all this here from here to Arur until Mount Hermon let me see I'll go back over here no here all the king oh, sorry all the kingdom of Og in Bashan which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edri but I who remained of the giants sorry who remained of the remnant of the giants for these did Moses smite and cast them out <laughs> Under the rulership of Moses, we killed them all. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Machites, but the Geshurites and the Machites dwell among the Israelites unto this day. So, we was dwelling; uh, they was dwelling among us. And it says here. Let me see. We have this already read. Well, I didn't read it, but we know about this. And unto Mount Hermon. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, basically, the, the land that we were given was until Hermon until and all Mount Hermon uh, Gilead and the border of Geshurites the Geshurites and Machites and all Mount Hermon and all Bashan unto uh, Saga Saga this is basically what the Lord said that you know and there remained yet very much land to be possessed but the mo the most high he didn't give us because we started to sin so he didn't do it but he did say that we were supposed to get eh. no man judges 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 chapter 2 first and also judges chapter 3 let me see yeah yeah, yeah. judges 2 and 20 and the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel because we sinned and he said because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I will also not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. So that's why we don't, we have this. This not, you know? Th that's why we don't have that. Because if you look at the scriptures, Genesis 15, you will see like, hey, wait a minute, it's actually a bigger part until the river Euphrates we was actually given. As it says it's on. But, and the, the river Euphrates is all over here, is here. This is the river Euphrates. And it's also a river here, but yeah, on this map you don't see it, but there's another map, but, then, but anyway. So, here is the, uh, the river Euphrates, which goes up in here and stuff like that. And then, if I'm correct, it says... No, 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 I am correct, but that, wait, 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 because it says it right there in the book of Genesis 15, which this would be the river of Egypt, but I don't know if it's this one here, this one here, this one here, this one, or this one, but this one is the river before Egypt, that's what I, um, uh, what I, uh, what you will read about in the scriptures, and here, but yeah, but I don't want to worry too much about this because because of this scripture. You know, it's not for salvation's sake anyway, so it's just for you know interest sake you could say. You know, it's a lot of things are interesting, but it's not a big deal. First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse nine. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, which is Yahweh shine. Then that which is which is in part shall be done away. So that's basically everything that we don't know. Like for example, what happened to the tribe of Dan? I don't know. This is it's not in the scripture. So, but even though 
you had you have not had you have this Reuben top, uh, Topaz <laughs> Reuben Simeon Levi Judah Issachar Zebulon Naphtali Gad Asher Asher Manasseh Ephraim Benjamin you have this one right but in the beginning you had this one so it says here Manasseh and, and here it says where is the other one um, Ephraim right but in the beginning it was this one Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Joseph, Benjamin. So these two were, I don't want to say replaced, man. Uh, I don't want to say that. Let's just say, let's just say, um, Ephraim Manasseh was later on, these, you know, these two, <laughs> which <laughs> Ephraim is, Joseph is, is for Ephraim, and Ephraim is Joseph. You can find that in the book of, let me get it for you, Ezekiel 37 and 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah. So this is, this is why we have a 12 tribe sign board and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companion. So here it is. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. That's what you're supposed to write. So that, that happened. So here would be Ephraim, and then here would then therefore be Manasseh. But that, you know, later on. In the book of Revelation chapter 7, it, 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 it says what I just showed you. It says this one. This is Revelation 7. And this is before that. Let me see. Is, is, is it that place right here? Yeah. Is Revelation 7 from here until here, of course. Well, well you see the tribe of Joseph, but yeah. It's, uh, this is Ephraim. Well, it is actually that, yeah. You gotta look it up. But Joseph is the is Ephraim, so yeah. But where do you see? Pardon. Wait, this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. Right, because now Levi is a tribe also. So, you don't see Dan. Right. But yeah, like I said, uh, it's not to be worried about. You know, the Heavenly Father knows what he's doing. And he's going to fix things up later on. But yeah, so... Reading on. No, Judges chapter 2, verse uh, 21. I will also not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died, that through them I may prove Israel, whether they will keep the way of Yahweh to walk therein, as their fathers did keep it or not. Therefore Yahweh left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. To prove Israel by them. Judges 3 and 1. Now these are the nations which Yahweh left to prove Israel by them, even as many as Israel of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan. And and why? Only that the generations of the children of Israel might know to teach them war. At the least such as before knew nothing thereof. The Lord wants to teach you war. Why? Now you know why all different races hate and dislike each other. Exodus 15 and 3. Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's, that's the reason. 
you might think it's cruel but yeah that's because a lot of our people don't understand and the world doesn't understand I mean if you look at this then you will see things that are so-called cruel cruelty and stuff like that this animal used to be alive before he caught him <laughs> this one he's dead now but yeah he, he's alive there in this picture <laughs> you know so was this one so is this one struggling to stay alive and it goes for the entire animal kingdom even in your body you are fighting insects <laughs> insects uh, bacteria is right about now you know in the insect world you know insects hunting each other it's basically all over the place man they hunting each other there it's a lot of killings going left and right right and left all over the place <laughs> okay this is another creature of the heavenly father <laughs> god level hunters yeah because the heavenly father created them to be that way and uh, they're gonna kill you you know <laughs> if they was our size whoo, yeah Imagine seeing this little dude walking around. My man. People were trying to kill or hunt them until death. Because they, they, they would be afraid. You know, or this guy just waiting for you to walk by and he snatches you. Because you're going to be screaming. He's going to eat you alive. That's going to be horrible, man. <laughs> but back in the days, they were bigger, though. But anyway, let me go on. So. So all over the place is war in your body when you see what you see and what you don't see. War is constantly busy within your body. It's fighting off diseases and all that that type of stuff. All the madness that Esau is putting in the food, fighting that too. Every day of your life it's a struggle, it's a struggle and a fight. Right? So okay. Right, so the children of Israel did evil. Where are they right there? And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and served Balaam. Right, and uh, they forsook the Lord. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. And here he was kindled against them again. So, yeah, um, let me see. This is done. Okay, so all that stayed. Um, so, yeah, we didn't have all what we, what we were uh, allowed, allotted to. Uh, load it and let me see something here not this one then here land loaded by Moses so what is loaded give or a portion a portion what a portion okay a portion uh, portion something or to someone right in this case the land right so let me read a few other scriptures too and then later on yeah so we had wars also with the Geshurites which is these ones not the Hamites the people from Adam this one from Adam this one is called later on also Adam Maha Maka as you can see here Aramaka. But we had relations with them. Through, no, no, no. With the Geshurite, sorry. Which is also uh, associated with Aram. And not the Hamites. So, yeah. Not these Geshurites. Because Geshur was here too. And the Most High left them to, to see if we would follow after these uh, people. And the Gezerites, or Gezerites, those are Hamites too. Right, so let me hit this one and then I'm going to finish up these, this, the rest of the chapter. Now, this is the book of Second Samuel chapter 10 verse 6. And when the children of Ammon saw that they stank before David, the children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Beth Rahab and the Syrians of Zobah, which is Aram, 20,000 footmen. And the king of Machmakah, which is also um, Adam 
this in the region of Aram. So it's both of them. A thousand men, and of Ishtab, twelve thousand men. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab, and all the host of the mighty men, and the children of Ammon came out, and put the battle in array at the entering in of the, of the gate. And the Syrians of Zobah, and of Rehob, and Ishtab, and Maha, were by themselves in the field. So, this one. The Syrians. They're all Syrians, you could say. They all come from that region. Even though Aram is, is uh, different from Maha, Maka, and also yeah, Gashiri. Gashiri? They, they still belong to the same uh, place because the children of Maha are actually the children of the brother of King da of uh, not King David Nahor, the brother the brother of uh, Abraham. Make sure you can find that here. Here's Maha, that's one of the sons of Nahor, which is his brother, and Abraham was called a Syrian. So what is his brother? His brother is a Syrian, but this one, Kemuel, is the father of Aram. So they're they're still Syrians, but this one is Aram, which is here. Sorry. Um, here. What? <laughs> okay, okay, cool. I'll find this one then. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I had something. Anyway, here is Aram, but here you had um, Maha and Geshur, which you can see here then, a little bit closer. Here, near that water thing, the Sea of Gali, and near the Mount. And of course, the, here you have the Naphtali, and uh, here, Upper, upper Manasseh, which is... Here, here, Bashan and stuff like that. Here you have Geshur, and here you have Maha, Ma Maaka. Right. So there's there they still be belong to the Syrians because they come from them, especially this one. He comes from Nahor, the Syrian, and we got wives from. Uh, Laban, they say. Well, actually, Jacob got a, got wives from Laban. He got he got a, he got uh, Rachel and Leah, which were our cousin. Jacob's uh, cousin through his mother's side, like uh, his mother's brother, his daughters. So the daughters of his uh, his uncle, his uncle, you know. Right. So um, yeah. So the, these are the Syrians, and then here it's gonna say it again because Chronicles is actually repeating what it says right here. But uh, here in First Chron, and we had wars with them. That's that's why I'm reading this. We had wars with them. First Chronicles chapter two, verse twenty-two. And Sigub begat Jair, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead, and he took Kishur and Aram, with the towns of Jair from them with Kanath and the towns thereof even three score cities all these belong to the sons of Machir the father of Gilead now wh where was that that was mentioned in the book of here Numbers chapter 32 mm, Machir the son of Manasseh and dwelt therein and he was the one that actually disposed of them over there. And then later on, we had battles and we lost the cities and stuff like that. And then you can read about that here. You know, so this happened. And Judges chapter 10 verse 4. And he had 30 sons that rode on 30 ass colts. And they had 30 cities, which are called Havoth Jair. Sometimes they spell it different, but anyway, it's this done. Here, Havav Jair. But now we only had 30 cities in the time of judges, so we lost them. 
we had 60 cities in total and then later on we lost it and then in the time of judges which I just read we only had 30 cities left because there were there were wars you know the Lord is a man of war and there's another place that I also where is it it was 60 yeah we had 60 and then we lost them let me see if I'm going right here somewhere wait let me see took cities and then uh, no 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 ba no ba took cities and in total it would come together to 60 cities which we took from the <laughs> it's all take and take but only when we sinned that's when we lost it and when they sinned they lost it you know that's even mentioned 400 years before they 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 was going to lose it the lord already told abraham like listen those people are gonna sin and, and i'm gonna make your people your seed get them and kill them basically and take their land judges chapter genesis chapter 15 verse 16 but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again which is the seed of abraham that would be enslaved for 400 years and the hither again it's talking about because he was in that land at that time when the Lord told him so the Lord told him yeah when you your, your children are gonna come here again for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full so um, they was going to lose the land 400 years before it, it, it happened yeah it was prophesied before you know 400 years before it was already prophesied that the Amorites would lose their land and the Amorites are the people that we smoked over there <laughs> the Canaanites <laughs> right which is Argob the king the kingdom of Og in Bashan right so okay I hope I can explain that good didn't go fluent as I wanted to but yeah still <laughs> You're going to do better because you're going to know and then you're going to put everything together uh, fittingly and then it's going to be better for you to explain further. <laughs> See, I get it, but the explaining is... I uh, hmm. need to work on that a little bit more, but uh, going on. Okay, so now that I explain all that there, the Lord willing, of course. Okay, all that there. Joshua chapter 14 verse 2 By lot was their inheritance as Shehawah commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half which was on the other side, west side of Jordan. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and an half on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes. Yeah, for the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs, for their cattle, and for their substance. Right. So, um, for the Levites, part of the, the, the Levites in the land. Therefore, save the cities to dwell in the land. Check this out. I think I can put all. So what were they doing? They was living in the suburbs. Or the yeah, the suburbs. Which is this. Now you have the suburbs, right? And then you have the uh, urban places, which is the, the, the three difference. Rural what? Rural and rural and urban and suburban. So, yeah, 
suburbs. So this, the suburbs, is uh, is looking fine, uh, mighty uh, nice, mighty dandy, dandy. It's looking dandy over there. You know, in these places, suburbs, it's looking mighty nice <laughs> compared to this. This looks like a heap of steaming feces from a cow or something. You know, fresh out the fresh out the bakery smoke coming off of off of it all that there this looks horrible it looks like trash it looks like filth like it's filthy or something like garbage I don't know if you understand what like, like this is what I see this is what I see when I look at these cities and stuff like that I see this it looks like this from the distance I don't know if you if you see what I see but yeah this is this is how I see those cities like garbage it looks like it man from afar you know, let me see um, drone view yeah here this is what I'm what I, what I mean this is what I see when I look at these cities from Esau these these Esau uh, places this I see garbage <laughs> I hope you can see what I see. I don't see garbage here because of the greenery, but then in the in the back of it, that's garbage. It looked like garbage. This this is what I'm talking about. It 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 looks like this uh, here. It looks like this to me. You know this. It really looks like it. I I, I don't know. I can't get it out of my head that it's garbage. And, and, and we're going to flatten it once that time comes. We're going to flatten all this. The Heavenly Father is going to flatten it, you know? But I mean the place in, in, in America. But I mean the places where mm, where the Most High is not going to let the nukes pop off on them. Right? Those places we're going to flatten. Like huh, the Arabian places and stuff like that. Uh, let me see. places right like this we're, we're, this is gonna be flattened all, all this here gonna be flattened man I hate it I, I, I just dislike it it's ugly it's a sore it's a sore sight just just the fact that the, the, that these things are there you know these big tall bill I can't stand them they're ugly they just need to be taken down and they will because according to the scriptures you're not even allowed to be uh, building these type of things. Are you mad, man? This, this is crazy, man. What are they trying to do? They're trying to reach out to heaven? <laughs> the, tower, the Tower of Babel? No, 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 no. This is a, a sore sight for the eyes. You know? It's just meaningless. It, it means this is, it's just stupid. I think it's stupid, so... But anyway. And I think the Lord thinks that same way, too. He, that's why he's going to flatten it. <laughs> <laughs> right going on yeah so going on to over here yeah so the Levites had the suburbs and stuff like that you know which is mighty beautiful I'll tell you that <laughs> look at this how beautiful this is got a lot of greenery got, you know houses and stuff like that space yeah 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 Y'all are this uh this is this is gonna be how we're gonna be living, man, you know? Beautifully like, you know. And the, the heathens, especially Esau, he's gonna be here where he belongs. Yeah, here. That's what I that's that's what I want for them. And they will get it. Remember that we were in the barn in slavery and they was in the houses, which we built? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a city to me. This is your city, your future city, Esau. You Edomites, you should get cozy. Going on for for Joshua 14 and 5. And Yahweh, as Yahweh commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. So, so, so the children of Israel did. And they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal. And <coughs> Caleb, the son of Jeh, 
the Kenazite.